Government in Cameroon has agreed to open inv an investigation after a second video emerged appearing to show troops carrying out summary killings. The video shows armed men opening fire on about 10 unarmed individuals in the country's far north region, a region which has been shaken by jihadist attacks. A first video was dismissed by the government as fake news. Well, the France 24 observers specialise in identifying and verifying online videos such as these. And Chloe Louvernier is from the team. She joins us now in the studio. And Chloe, good to see you. Now, your team's been looking at uh, these two videos for several weeks now. What have you discovered? Well, uh, concerning the second video, we first we wanted to check where it took place. And regarding the place, there is an interesting clue in the video, since we can hear one of the men in uh, military uniform saying the mission went well. We went through the village of Ashigashia, which was, which was first taken over by Boko Haram. So we showed screenshots of the video to people who know Ashigashia, which is a village close to Nigeria, and everybody recognized, recognized the village of Ashigashia. And some people even recognized the area, which is called Tala Masali, and some of the buildings as well. And just to draw attention to viewers, we are looking at the video, uh, which is playing on the screen right behind you there. We can't show all of it, of course, because a lot of it is very disturbing. And um, what do we know about the people in the video and when was it filmed? Yeah, well, we, we talked to many people, including people who lost family members. And even though these people did not win witness the, the killing itself, and they all said that the Cameroonian soldiers killed the civilians, uh, who were mainly old people. And what's more, there is another interesting clue in the video, since we can see rifles, uh, which are called Zastava M21. They are used by the, by the Cameroonian security forces. Uh, they are the only ones who use them in the region. So that's an interesting clue. And concerning the dates of the killings, uh, people told us that it took place in January 2015. Uh, that means just after the army took Ashigashia back from Boko Haram. Uh, there is a last thing that I wanted to say about this video. Uh, it was quite hard to check the, the images since the people were very, very scared to talk, uh, to tell us what they knew. Uh, so, but in the end, we managed to find people uh, willing to, to talk. All right, Chloe Louvernier doing very important work there. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us.